This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Scott Ackerman, the president of TuneCore. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by MusicGraph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or developer.musicgraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and I'm here today with uh, Scott Ackerman, president of TuneCore. So hi Scott and how's it going? Everything's going great, happy to be here. It's great to have you and so, uh, you know, first of all, let's talk about uh, TuneCore. Uh, uh, give us some numbers just to, to get a sense of, uh, of where the company is at today. Sure, well, uh, for us being at South by Southwest, the greatest number to start with is over a third of the bands that are playing here are uh, TuneCore customers, so we're very excited about that. Um, trying to get out, uh, the hardest thing for us, our team here, is to get out to see them all because there's so many, but right. that's, that's a great number for us. Um, <laughs> you know, since 2006, uh, we uh, have, have uh, distributed music for our artists and they've earned over $371 million. Yeah. And uh, just this last year, uh, it was 121, so you can see how fast that's growing. Um, over 5 billion uh, downloads and streams. And again, just this last year, uh, that represented uh, 3 billion downloads and streams. So, yeah. you know, year over year, uh, we continue to grow and earn more money for our artists. So it's very exciting. Um, you know, our total uh, catalog uh, uh, tracks since uh, launch is about 1.6 billion tracks that we've wow. uh, done for our artist. And so what do you 1. feel? 1.6 million. I'm million. Sorry. Yeah, billion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so many others are billions for us, but that was millions. <laughs> And so, uh, looking at the uh, the environment for uh, for independent music and, and sort of uh, self released music as well, uh, uh, what are your thoughts? You know, we we're seeing uh, some uh, con conflicting reports here on whether the long tail is uh, is increasing or diminishing, or whether uh, you know smaller artists are actually managed to make it make, make an impact uh, on the market at all. So, uh, what, what have you seen uh, as as the evolution of of the independent market over the last twelve months or so? Well, it continues to grow. I mean, we see more and more of our artists are earning more money. You know, when uh, the first uh, few years of TuneCore, uh, you know, a smaller percentage of the artists made up the major portion of that royalties that we've earned each year. But uh, as, as each year goes, that gets larger, larger base. So, you know, it's spreading to the long tail, which is very exciting. So more and more of our artists are earning more money. Yeah, and TuneCore, of course, has evolved uh, its uh, uh, business uh, over the last few years, starting as a purely as a very straightforward distribution play. But you have a lot of different services now uh, attached to the company as well. So, what, what do you think are the key services that you've added over the last couple of years that that uh, you feel are, are benefiting the artists? Well, the big piece that we launched two years ago was our publishing business. So, yeah. you know, now we're uh, collecting uh, songwriter royalties. Uh, throughout the world, uh, th over 80 countries, and um, you know that's that's very important to us. And more and more of our artists are joining our publishing business every day. Um, you know, our ultimate goal at TuneCore is to be a one-stop shop, and we will continue to add products. We uh, added our YouTube uh, product uh, at the end of last year, so that we now can uh, collect money and and help our artists monetize off the YouTube piece as well. And yeah. so, um, but the publishing piece is a very important piece to us, and you know. We, we want our customers to come and distribute, and we want to be their publisher as well. Yeah, of course, and publishing has become a, a hot topic over the last uh, uh, year or so because uh, artists are realizing how, how many different pockets of income they have to really tap into. So uh, how do you also help them understand what, what, what those pockets of incomes are? Well, uh, you know, publishing is a, con a confusing model, but, uh, you know, we've done a very good job. Um, the, the, the great thing is we've made it all online, so it's very easy to enroll, and we have helped educate our, our customer on all the different countries that, you know, when their music is streamed in, in Brazil, we want to be able to collect that royalty for them. Of course. And so, um, you know, we've done some great uh, online uh, educational things to educate them, and, you know, in, in, in a lot of ways for the artist it, it's really found money for them they, it's money they didn't even know they had and so we're educating them more and you know they start to see that income flow and of course that makes them very happy it makes us happy and uh, you know the the goal is to increase that income month over month for them 
Absolutely. And looking at the international aspect of, of the company, uh, that's uh, really an important part of, of, of growth uh, uh, because uh, uh, we're seeing markets that uh, didn't really have a digital ecosystem before are really starting to come up. Uh, even Russia apparently is not doing too bad uh, since iTunes launched over there. So how are you seeing the adoption of the service uh, from international markets and have you got like uh, different language support on the site and uh, how does that part of it work? So a couple things. I mean, you know, from the data that we get from iTunes, uh, you know, there's there's really uh, three areas of explosive growth. Um, Germany, for instance, has seen real strong growth, about 20% over the last year. Um, the, Finally, yay. <laughs> yeah, the Asian market uh, continues to grow and be very strong. Uh, you know, Latin America as well. Um, and so, you know, we, we want to capitalize on that. Anybody in the world can join TuneCore. Yeah. Today, we have over uh, 186 countries, customers from 186 countries. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to get a little more uh, adaptable for each country. For an example, if you do join TuneCore today, uh, it's an English language. You have to pay in U.S. currency and you get your royalties in, in U.S. dollar. Right. We launched TuneCore Canada kind of as a, you know, a, a way for us to uh, test that international market. And uh, that's doing very well. Our Canadian artists can pay in Canadian dollars and get their royalties in uh, Canadian dollars. Last year, about a year and a half ago, we launched TuneCore Japan, yeah. which is uh, doing quite well. Again, now our, our Japanese artists can get uh, pay in yen and get their uh, royalties in yen. The, the great thing about, um, too, when you have these international relationships, as the Japanese market continues to grow, and the labels over there are opening up their own digital stores that gives us access, not just for TuneCore Japan, but for TuneCore to have right. those markets as well. And so we're very excited as we continue to add more stores across the world that our artists can be heard more in Japan and in Vietnam and Cambodia and India and China. And, you know, we continue to add uh, digital stores to support that so that our customers, uh, our artists can be heard uh, all over the world. You know, we did a survey uh, last year and you know uh, money is very important for our artists obviously for most of them it, it's their living but their number one response on what they want to tune core to do is get their music heard and so you know we take that as our biggest responsibility to get them heard throughout the world to be able to be independent to pick and choose which stores they want to uh, sign up with and where they want to be heard, but but you know to get the whole TuneCore package, you know you you will be heard all over the world, and that's what we continue to strive. Yeah, sure. And uh, we've seen an interesting uh, new development in the streaming business with the Beats Music uh, pledging that they're going to pay the same royalties uh, uh, on, on streams to to everybody, which is uh, which is interesting. So do, do you see that being something that potentially might spread to other services? You know, I'm not really sure. I think we're going to have to kind of wait and see on that. You know, the streaming uh, is, is is an interesting uh, business. It continues to grow. Uh, you know, the uh, downloads uh, have dropped a little bit and streaming is growing. You know, we, we've talked to several of our artists. Uh, some are very positive about the streaming. You know, Ron Pope is a, a, a TuneCore artist and he just wrote a recent blog on how successful he is at making money with the streaming. Yeah. Um, we've talked to some other artists that, that they're trying some other things like, uh, interestingly, I talked to an artist the other day that, that talked about, um, you know, doing the downloads first and waiting a couple weeks and yeah. because everybody wants that instant, you know, people will pay to hear the song right away and then do the streaming later. And, you know, uh, streaming is, is, is here to stay. Um, I, I believe that the, uh, uh, you know, f years ago, people thought physical was going to disappear. It is it is decreasing, but it hasn't gone away. I don't yeah. think uh, downloads are going to go away either. But, uh, you know, it's early. And so it'll be interesting to see as streaming continues to grow. All the stores that we do add, th that we did add in 2013, um, either offered download and streaming or they were just streaming. So we're always yeah. offering new services on the streaming side for our customers. And it feels like the discovery part is, is the, the key to the to being successful on streaming services. In, in that sense, do you see some of your artists that are a part of the same genre, for example, bundle together or find each other and start to, uh, you know, collaborate, for example, or, or, or uh, feature each other in playlists or do stuff like that uh, within the service? Do you see any uh, friendship forming because of the service as well? Uh, haven't seen that, but that, that that's an interesting uh, concept. Uh, you know, one thing we do, we, we, we recently in this last year brought some artists in to talk. 
o'clock and it is fascinating uh, as they sit around the table and share their knowledge to each other about how they're using social media and what stores are successful for them. And so, um, you know, I think uh, more and more of that collaboration will be great and artists uh, can learn from each other and benefit from that. Yeah, sure. And uh, so looking forward uh, to, to the next uh, sort of 12, 24 months, uh, you talked about the international piece that's uh, sort of coming together now. Uh, any other developments that you're excited about that, that you're working on the moment? So, you know, we're always looking at, uh, like I said earlier, we want to be a one-stop shop someday for, you know, today artists, uh, they come to us for distribution and publishing, but they have to go to many other websites to do lots of other things uh, for their uh, promotion and selling tickets and, you know, their venues. And so we're constantly looking at partners. Uh, to see how we can bridge that gap and have everybody come to TuneCore and get everything they need to be successful. That's great. Well, thanks so much for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. And go and check out TuneCore.com for more information. Uh, thanks so much for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest 2014. Check it out on digitalmusictrends.com.